Hello, and welcome back to Roll for Damage. Today, we're creating a summoning portal. Okay, first we start with these flameless LED tea lights that you get from Walmart. Uh, these have an orange LED inside that flickers, uh, so it gives the exact uh, appearance that I need for this portal. So right now, I'm going to dismantle it. You start by unscrewing the bottom of it, pull out all the insides. It pretty much just falls apart once you open it. Pull out this LED, remove that flame grommet over it, and we are just going to keep the LED itself and the battery. Throw everything else away. Uh, this is exactly all we need. Some people try to have a workaround. They start with that base. You don't need that fixture for that light. It's for the battery. It's pointless. Just throw it away. We're going to make our own. All right, so I start off with the Dollar Tree foam board. I have in the bottom of my screen a three inch circle. Uh, I'm going to use this as the bottom level. The top piece is going to be two and six, two and seven eighths. Um, which is just a, sh a tiny bit uh, smaller than the actual other ring. Um, the inside I had cut out at one and one quarter inches. So that diameter is one and one quarter. Uh, I am taking my pen and I am pressing in the actual texture that I want. I was going to go with flagstones. So I, I did some straight flagstone kind of uh, grid and now I'm just going back and I'm deepening it and on the edges I'm actually taking my pen and digging deep into that foam and just kind of pulling the uh, the outer edge where those two flagstones would have met in the back I didn't want it to look like a perfect circle uh, so I basically just chipped those pieces away and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going in and I'm beveling those little edges uh, where it would be between the brick where the mortar would sit uh, and, and just digging a little bit deeper with the actual ballpoint. Uh, now I'm doing the same thing to the actual inside. Uh, of course that's not going to be a perfect circle either if it was truly laid with stone. So you go in and, and deepen those, those corners uh, and just chip out that uh, kind of like a little triangle almost uh, of where those stones would actually touch. Now originally I had designed, uh, I was going to design this with uh, a painted center and I was just going to uh, press in a symbol that I wanted but I decided to actually take this video a step further in show you all the LED lighted uh, summoning portal. So uh, some of these frames you may see that original center uh, still in here but uh, I, I tried to cut out um, what I could but there were some videos that I or spots of the video that I couldn't take out uh, for um, loss of information during the tutorial. So I apologize uh, if you do see those flashes every now and then. Um, so this is me doing uh, the same thing I did to the top layer. I'm going in and I am uh, deepening the, the ruts between uh, each brick. Um, and again, like I said, if, if I was originally from the start going to do a lighted portal, uh, I would have just cut the center out and I wouldn't have focused all this time and energy on uh, getting the brick shaped around that center piece. Okay, this is my own little trick. I got tired of um, flattening, I mean, putting on flat black uh, on Dollar Tree foam. Everybody knows if you spray it and it's not completely covered, if you missed a spot, that foam eats, I mean, that spray paint uh, eats that foam. So all I did was I had an actual old uh, downy bottle that I had finished up. I cleaned it out really well in the dishwasher and then I put in a mixture of 75 or 50% paint and 50% water. Uh, and then uh, 
it's tremendous, guys. Uh, if y'all have a spare bottle laying around, please go do that. You will save yourself so much time and effort. Um, so once I had that black coat on and it was dry, I'm, I mixed a little black paint with some gray paint and I'm putting on uh, the same color scheme as most of my dungeons, which is a darker gray. Um, and I'm just putting, not a dry brush, but definitely not doused like, uh, like, like a, that original flat black uh, layer. You you, you want to not hit all those deep spots with black um, and just kind of hit the, the upper spots. And this is me actually going back with a dry brush and a lighter gray. It's actually the same gray that I had without uh, adding that black to it. Um, so I'm just taking that, that gray and dry brush and I'm just hitting highlights, mostly corners where uh, light would hit the edge of bricks um, or raised surfaces, you know, where the brick comes out of a divot. Um, I just, it, it gives it that 3D pop. Okay, um, so once that's dry, I'm taking and I'm going to trace where we're going to put this battery. And I'm gonna cut it out. Now, don't go too deep because you're not trying to go through both layers of this foam. You're only trying to go through this bottom layer, um, and then slowly peel back uh, just that single layer to make sure that that you don't peel apart that top piece. Um, this uh, piece under it—that's actually a, a pizza pan that I got from the Dollar Tree. I recommend doing this because you can hot glue on this as well and it's a uh, non-stick so the actual hot glue will not stick to it. Alright so there we go I'm dry fitting that battery. See look at that battery's in place and it pretty much stays in place. Uh, there's no point to actually work around that base that they give you. Okay this is when I decided uh, to cut that center piece out for you. Uh, originally I had a magic ruin um, designed in there and then uh, painted but I, I wasn't pleased with it so I decided just to make the whole portal lighted. Alright, I'm actually going back and I'm scarring up this LED because I'm trying to refract that light at different angles. Uh, LEDs cast light out the very tips of them so if you go back and you scar and you give um, the light a different path to follow it actually illuminates the sides much better. All right, and there we go. So uh, that's simple as that. I am, I put a little bit of, uh, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of hot glue on the very top of that foam, and then I just barely touched um, the long rod to that LED, uh, to the top of that foam. That, that way it just kind of barely held it in place. Do not cover that bar with hot glue or this will not work. Um, so put the, the LED where you want it. I had mine at a slight angle pointing toward the center. Um, leave the battery in there. It, this hot glue will not stick to that battery. So when it's time to change the battery, it, it just easily pops out. All right, so I filled up the pool of hot glue and I allowed it to sit for about a minute and a half and right before it starts getting dry it's like tacky I'm gonna take that hot glue and spiral it uh, if you tried to do this while it was still really hot you're just wasting your time all right so I'm gonna uh, decorate my portal with three skulls so I used uh, the Dollar Tree skeletons that everybody's been buying from the Dollar Tree for uh, during Halloween obviously they're a little bit too big to use for miniatures, but they're good uh, for decoration purposes, things like that. Um, I originally uh, tried to spray these with my water paint mixture, and it did not want to sit well with these. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have washed these uh, things first. However, uh, I had to go back and wash them afterwards, so I just Dawn dish liquid soap, washed them really good, 
uh, scuffed them up just a little bit. You don't want to lose uh, detail in the skulls because they really have um, some tremendous detail for being a Dollar Tree product. Um, so there we go. Uh, they sprayed perfect, but as soon as you handle them, it just it just wiped right off. So I had to redo it. Um, and this is me redoing it after I washed. Uh, I just went back and with a brush and just flat painted them. Uh, try not to get paint on that bottom where you're going to be gluing because obviously uh, hot glue sticks to whatever surface it is attached to and that at the time would be paint if you painted the bottom and that's not going to give you a good seal, a, a good bond. Uh, so just only paint the areas that are going to be visible. Um, later on we're going to go back and touch up the little spots that needed to be addressed. these dry and I flipped over and painted the little spots that I was holding with the pliers that didn't get covered um, but once that's done and these dried like super quick I didn't even use my fan on these All right, so my portal is dry, that hot glue is dry, and I'm just gonna dab just a little bit where that plastic is still bare. And just tap them to that foam. That hot glue actually melts into that foam, so it's a really good bond. I'm taking mine and I'm spacing them out. Uh, Every, I'm trying to do it evenly, um, so I had three. I don't actually have my uh, light bent where it's completely turned on, so when I go to push down on it to make sure the bond is good, it usually just barely taps that battery, and that's why you see that light flickering on, uh, just because it, it was being pushed down and hitting that, that metal piece, that metal battery. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty, that's pretty neat. All right, so now we're going back and we are uh, touching up those spots that need to be addressed, um, covering up the hot glue that might have uh, spilled out over the edges if you'd applied too much. Um, I don't know, I can't really tell here but I went back in where the skull was, uh, its brow ridge and its nose and its jaws. I went back and scraped it with uh, one of my carving tools and just scraped that paint off the uh, off the actual skull to give it to give it depth. And there we go. There's it on my board. It fits a one inch mini perfectly. Uh, so if you're going to summon a monster, uh, it 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 works fantastic. What do you guys think? How, about how neat is that? Look how bright that is. That's amazing. And that's all that's that's holding it is that one little wire. That's all you needed. That one wire, the, the long wire, and the short wire just touch. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, click the bell to receive all notifications. See you all later.